Shut up and sit down. Hi everybody, this is Alexis with Financial Phoenix and I am here today to give you a really awesome food deal, couponing deal for uh, Dollar General this uh, coming Saturday, Saturday the 29th. I'm checking my calendar over here. So um, yes, this is an all food couponing deal. It's mostly digital coupons, so hopefully anybody will be able to do it. Um, we have one paper coupon in there, but you could always sub that out for something else. So um, we're gonna get right into the deal and stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you how I used all of these food products to create two different meals for four people a piece. So that's gonna be awesome. Um, we're having friends come, coming over this Saturday evening and they have been warned that they will be eating an entire uh, meal of Dollar General stuff that we have kind of thrown together. So um, it's going to be really exciting so stick around for the end um, but let's get into it right now. So first things first, uh, this all food deal we have got in the ad this week two tombstone pizzas. They are on sale currently for two for six. So there's six dollars and the coupon um, that you'll use on these states that they need to be the 11.2 to 22.6 ounces um, so I don't think you'll have any problems there it looks like uh, just from searching the website that all of the uh, tombstone pizzas are on sale two for six this week so I don't I don't think size really will impact it too much um, and then you're going to use a $1 off of two digital coupon that you will find in your Dollar General account. Um, and so that will bring your total uh, to $6 and your out-of-pocket cost to $5 because we, right, it was two for six. We took that $1 off, so we're at five out-of-pocket. So if you need um, a little bit of uh, help with the uh, total versus the out-of-pocket cost, I will link... Um, in the description below uh, just some basic terms and, and what I'm talking about there with with dollar general couponing because what you want your total to be is different than what you want your out-of-pocket cost to be so if you're new don't worry there'll be help below um, next we have the buy two get one free suddenly salad kits so I think they have them in the uh, these are pasta salad kits um, I'm not really sure what the flavors are. I think I saw a Caesar uh, and a regular pasta salad. So they're buy one, get one free. These are $2 each. Uh, so that's going to add a total of $4 to your total cost, making it 10. And you're going to uh, subtract two from your out of pocket cost because they're right at $2 a piece and we're getting one free. So nothing there. Um, so you don't even need a coupon on that one. That one's just buy one get one free super easy so pick up two of those then you're going to get two of the dull canned pineapple um, I, the coupon states or fruit but judging by their website I'm, I'm not seeing any other types of fruit other than pineapple um, I think you could do mandarin oranges too but I don't know that they have those in store so pick up two of the dull canned pineapple it does not list the size um, and you're, those are $1.50 each, so that's a total of $3 that you're going to add to your total. And you're going to use the $0.75 cents off of two digital coupons. So you're buying two of those products and you're going to get $0.75 cents off, of, off of both together. Next we have a coupon for uh, two Chex Mix bags. Uh, this is what they're calling the traditional size bag on their website. So it's 3.75 ounces. Uh, and they have those listed for a dollar. Um, so the coupon states it must be 3.7 ounces or larger. So we're good there. So you're going to pick up two of those for a dollar a piece, adding two dollars to your total. And you're going to use the 50 cents off of two digital coupon that you will clip to your account. Easy peasy, no issues. Um, so our out of pocket cost then is 10.75. Then we're going to pick up two of the Fig Newton packs. These are, uh, now the coupon states they have to be 6 to 20.6 ounces. So just keep that in mind. Um, but the website has Fig Newtons, uh, the packs for $1.50 a piece. So 
uh, that's really great. We're going to use a dollar off of two Nabisco products digital coupon. Clip that to your account. I know that there was a uh, 75 cents off of two Nabisco products coupon that came out in a previous insert. So if you still have one of those paper ones but you didn't get a digital, you could use the 75 cents off there. It'll make your out-of-pocket cost a little bit a little bit higher, but um, you'll at least be using a coupon still on that item instead of paying full price. So, you know, judge for yourself. Um, so that's going to bring our total to $18. Our out-of-pocket cost now is at $12.75. Uh, the next thing we're going to pick up is the Hellman's mayonnaise. Um, and it has to be a specific kind, uh, but it is currently uh, on their website at $2.95 and you're going to use the one dollar off of one paper coupon that was in the 623 smart source so i have it right here looks like this one here you can see that's the coupon that you're going to use so i'm going to read this to you because just make sure you're getting the right thing so this is save $1 on any one Hellman's Real Mayonnaise jar. It has to say real on it. Uh, parentheses, 24 ounces or larger. So the one that we're looking at, I think, was 30 ounces. So that qualifies. Um, it's listed on their website as $2.95, but it looks like it's a sale or a clearance price. So if you aren't able to find that size, you can also pick up a squeeze uh, 11.5 ounces or larger uh, of the Hellman's Real Mayonnaise or an organic 15 ounce or variety 11 ounce product. So there are a couple different options there. Just make sure that you're picking up the right thing. But we're going to pick up Hellman's Mayonnaise $2.95. We're going to use this dollar off of one coupon in the 623 Smart Source. Brings our total to $20.95 and our out of pocket cost to $14.70. Don't worry. We're going to get that down. Um, and then we're going to pick up a Clover Valley baked beans. So uh, the Clover Valley is the Dollar General brand. Um, I haven't had an issue with any of their products. They seem pretty good for the most part. Um, let me know in the comments if you think a review uh, of some Clover Valley Dollar General cheaper products uh, would be beneficial to you. If you'd like to see some of their food or some of their uh, other, you know, body wash, deodorant type things, products reviewed. Um, let me know in the comments if that's something that you want and we can make that happen. Um, we'll pick up some stuff and uh, do a review of that kind of thing for you. Um, and keep in mind too, uh, when you see the, we're going to use a digital coupon on this, by the way, on the Clover Valley baked beans. Um, and note that the Dollar General specific coupons, because that's what this is, uh, vary by area so you may not have gotten it in your account and that's okay this is why we put out these videos uh, to give you an idea of what you can do yourself if you don't have that coupon um, what you're gonna look for is something that adds roughly about two ish dollars to your total um, the beans right now are at 140 and we have a 40 cent off coupon making them a dollar so what you would want to do then, if you don't have that digital coupon, is substitute something that's roughly $2, give or take a little bit, and uh, you have a 50-ish cent coupon off for, and that will keep your total and your out-of-pocket cost in the ballpark of what we're doing here. So just keep that in mind. Uh, so we're going to pick up one of those for $1.40. We're going to use a 40 cent off of one digital coupon. Um, and read the read the instructions on the coupon. I think it's a 16 ounce. I could be wrong about that, but um, just make sure you read the size requirement on the coupon because uh, I think it's one of the tall uh, cans. We're going to pick up one Clover Valley Liquid Coffee Creamer, and I am so excited to tell you how we're going to use this as part of our menu for Saturday night. Um, that is the 16 ounce. Uh, that'll be $1.85, and then you're going to use a 50 cent off of one digital coupon. Um, so that's really good. That's an awesome item to add to our to our list here. I wasn't excited about it at first, but now I am, and you'll see why. 
So last but not least, we're going to buy two fruit roll-ups. Um, they are the 1.76 ounce uh, boxes, so they're a dollar a piece. Um, keep in mind there are several different sizes of uh, the fruit roll-ups and several different varieties as well. Um, so it doesn't really matter uh, coupon-wise because your coupon is going to work. Uh, there's no size requirement on the coupon. It's just a matter of uh, getting that out-of-pocket cost as low as possible. So you definitely want to get the $1 boxes. So two of those, uh, you're going to use a 50 cent off of two digital coupon that should be in your account. Um, I think there might have been a paper coupon as well at some point over the past month or so um, in one of the various inserts. So you might want to take a look for that if you still have some of those around if you're not seeing the digital coupon. Um, so that's going to bring our total to 26.20. And this is when uh, we're going to start uh, at the cash register by using our 5 off of 25 coupon. So you can use a digital version, which should be in your account. If you just started a new account, uh, it might not show up for a little bit, um, maybe give it a week or so. Uh, if you have made a purchase at the Dollar General this, this week, or, I mean, this video is coming out Wednesday, uh, so you still have time to make one this week. You will get a receipt, always get a paper receipt at Dollar General. I know it's easy to send it to your email. Don't do it. Just get a paper receipt, I promise you. It's easier to make sure your transaction went appropriately that way. And it's also just nice and handy to have one of these coupons on you at all times. So, uh, if you decide to make a purchase this week at Dollar General and get your pack of gum, whatever, get yourself a receipt that looks like this. There will be a coupon for $5 off of $25. Uh, this is an old one from May uh, or from March, but um, it'll look like that. And keep in mind too, when you get these, that they don't say only good on home and garden or uh, have another restriction on them. That doesn't happen very often, but occasionally um, they will put an extra thing in here to throw you off. So. Uh, we're going to use one of these or a digital, uh, which will take $5 off the top, but make sure that you're using this first before anything else, before paper coupons, before putting in your digital coupons, because this is taking $5 off of your $25 total. So our total came to $26.20. You want that $5 to come off of that. If you use your digital or your paper coupons first, it will bring that total down and the cash register will think that you are uh, not spending $25 and not take this $5 off. So just to be safe, use that first, then give the cashier your paper coupons, then put in your phone number and the digital coupons will come off and whatever's left is your out of pocket cost. That is the way to do it. Cash registers are finicky, especially Dollar General, so just keep that in mind. Um, so after 26.20, after taking our $5 off the top, our total is going to come to 13.55, which doesn't sound like an exciting total for couponing. If you're just starting out, you will find that you have um, a, an amount that sounds appropriate to you, that feels right to you when you're doing your transactions. Uh, for example, when I typically go couponing at Dollar General on Saturdays, I try to keep my transaction cost between five to seven dollars, usually closer to five to six, um, just because that's what feels right for me. That's what feels like a win, a fun, you know, amount to to get a spend and get a lot of things for. Uh, so just do whatever feels right to you. Um, but know that you need to be flexible when it comes to certain products and certain items. So for example, uh, toilet paper coupons, never good. Um, Cottonelle, Charmin, you know, we get occasionally a, a 75 cent, very rarely a dollar off, um, usually more like 25 cents or 50 cents off of six packs, 12 packs of toilet paper, something like that. And those are, Pretty expensive items those are usually between six and ten dollars you know depending on the size of the pack so 50 cents off is not a high value coupon so when we do get a really good paper deal I increase in my mind 
uh, what I feel the appropriate amount to spend is. So for example, I know that I'm not going to get a, a cart full of toilet paper for between five to seven dollars, but if I can get it for, you know, under 14, you know, that's a win. That's a good day for me because that's getting a product that you typically wouldn't get at that price. $13.55 for 15 items works out to about 90 cents per item. So it's higher than I would like it to be, but 90 cents an item is cheaper than the dollar store and you're getting a lot more food and a lot bigger sizes than you would find at the Dollar Tree. Um, you know, you're, you're making two full meals basically and with some extras. Uh, for at least four people a piece. So that's awesome for $13, that's crazy. So thanks for sticking around to the end. Uh, I promised at the beginning I would show you how I'm planning to uh, make these ingredients into some really awesome meals. Um, first up, our friends Jen and Dan, hi guys, will be joining us on Saturday for dinner. Uh, we're having them over for board games and just to kind of hang out. So we are going to serve Chex Mix as an appetizer. We're going to cook up our two tombstone pizzas for the four of us, uh, which is going to be awesome. They're bringing the drinks, so that saves us, and you know that's a frugal thing. Uh, little tip: if anyone asks you what they can bring, and you don't like being someone who, um, you know, asks people, "Well, can you make a dessert? Can you make a side dish?" You know, which I don't think you should mind. I mean, if people are coming, you know, want to help out, definitely do that. But if you're uncomfortable with that, um, I always tell people bring whatever you want to drink. We don't keep soda in the house, you know, I try not to, uh, he still does anyway, but we don't keep soda in the house really, you know, the most we usually have is milk and juice for the kids and that's it. Occasionally we'll have a bottle of wine, um, but it's just impossible to stock up on what everybody likes to drink, everybody's different. So I just tell people, you know, you can help out, just bring whatever you want to drink. So they're bringing their own thing. And then for dessert, we will be uh, cooking up some of our ingredients here. So we're going to try something experimental. We're going to cook down those fruit roll-ups into a kind of fruity sauce. Uh, we're going to put them in the saucepan and see if we can make those into kind of a fruity glaze. And we're going to take our pineapple and we're going to uh, heat that up in the pan with some butter and some brown sugar and some oats, maybe um, some cinnamon, some nutmeg. I don't know. We're just going to play around with that. And then we're going to make a really nice um, whipped cream topping, just heavy whipping cream and sugar, two staples that you should, you know, usually have in the fridge. And that's for Saturday night. Uh, for our next meal, we will be having somebody else over and we'll be having. Uh, the baked beans that we purchased today. We're going to have the pasta salad that we purchased. We're going to have a dessert of uh, some homemade ice cream made from the coffee creamer that we're picking up at Dollar General. And we're going to toast our Fig Newtons and make a little Fig Newton crumble for the top. So it's going to be really good, really delicious. I can't wait to show it to you guys. Um, we're going to get some meat uh, to go with that meal. So it'll be baked beans, pasta salad, dessert, and we'll probably pick up a chicken or something like that as, as the main component there. Um, my Dollar General, you might have one of those Dollar General markets in which you can get a meat, uh, for pretty cheap. Ours does not sell, uh, the produce and things like that. So we'll be picking up some meat, but I'll let you know what that costs and how we add that into our totals for what we spend on the meals. So, uh, you'll be informed that way as well. Um, so check, just wait for Saturday. Uh, we will do a little bit of in-store video on the shopping process, how this deal goes and look out for our follow-up video coming Saturday evening. Um, I'm going to show you, take you step by step through the process of how I made these meals, uh, with these ingredients and some of them are a little experimental. So just be along for that ride with me because we have never tried this before. So coffee creamer, ice cream, fruit roll up glaze, toasted fig newtons. It's going to be crazy. So stick around um, for those videos coming out. Like and subscribe, please, and share our videos. It really helps us get the word out there. And uh, remember, like a phoenix, we are rising. Shut up and sit down.